In this video we're taking a look at the Buckle Stampede with the Hydrovac and Manlift, owned and operated by Alta. Here we are with the Alta owned and operated Buckle Stampede with the Hydrovac and Manlift bucket. It's powered by a 12-cylinder V8 engine and it has this back compartment with a 3,000 liter tank that you could fill with whatever you want, meaning you could put diesel, you could put slurry, whatever you want to put, you could fill in there. There's some equipment, especially pumping and that type of thing. On both sides, ropes, welding. Here you power the boom and accessories and here you could put an electrical cable that connects to the whole vehicle. So you could actually plug in one of these cables here and have power to whatever you need. Now the actual crane is a rat crane, which is the brand for industrial machinery. And we have a little basket here we could jump into from there. And then once we unlock this, this actually moves up and down and all that stuff as well as out. So you can extend the bucket and move it in the different directions. Now you want to bring this down so you could actually get back into it. You can from ground level, so like right there. Now inside the unit itself, it has all the regular refinements of the buckle stampede, the mood lighting is included, and it has the big moonroof. Even though it is a industrial vehicle, it still does have that bit of luxury. Now you have quad steer, which is the turning of all the tires. This is only functional at low speeds, and once you're at a high speed, it'll automatically turn itself off. Now it's a five-seater. There's seats in the back for crew members. And this large winch, as well as this fluid hose anchor, is what connects to our Hydrovac. And Hydrovac is just a system that you can pump in or out. So you could see now we have zero contents, but we're gonna take this thing out on the road and test out that Hydrovac and bucket system. Here it is, spawned out here on the airbase. Now, when we turn it on, just like with all of our other buckle creations, you have the sequential um, transfer or gear selector. So it's the park, park reverse, neutral, drive, and then the manual modes. Keep in mind that when you plug any gear other than park, the handbrake turns off. So that's fine. Now, when you drive, the bucket is secured in place. It does have the roof hazard lights for when you're on site. It has rear spotlights, fog lights, and main low beam lights, as well as a horn. Now there is a cruise control function. So once you get it up to a speed you like, press shift space sorry press space and now this blue button turns on so we got our cruise control active now the way to disable it is to press the brake or press space again and then it disables it so you don't end up crashing but you could also brake just like in real life and that will turn off the cruise control mode if we put our park on so here we have the first aid kit like we do in the glove compartment now if we hop out here and jump into the basket like I was showing you earlier, but watch how much we could extend it. So it does go 20 meters, which is a good height for any type of uh, operation. You could reach fairly high spaces. You can get on top of the roof of the warehouse, all that stuff. Super useful and one thing that 
is worth mentioning, just as I come back here, this Hydrovac system. I guess we could pump out our own diesel. Let's try that. So we take the hose and we could plug it in here, but this way you won't have the winch. Or you could plug it in to the winch itself and then you have a con you could control the length of the winch. So that's especially good if you want to take this bucket up somewhere high. So you attach it here and that's only a, just a placeholder for that hose. So then you could extend this to like, I guess this thing goes 150 meters. So you could extend it to 150. And then when you push your basket up and about, you can just take this connector and walk around and plug whatever it is you need to if there's some type of hose system that's far away. Now, if we plug it into our here, we could actually pump in, meaning it'll suck the contents of our gas tank dry. So if we watch the gas tank, it's dropping like crazy. So we're sucking all the fuel out of the gas tank. Yeah, you have this length, but in this case it's fine. So we could have even plugged it in here. Now we could stop that and we could return it. So that's the nice thing with this hydrovac system is it's very easy to operate and easy to pump liquids into and out of systems. So that's how that works. And now note that this bucket itself has a rope anchor and an electrical cable anchor. So you could plug any of those into this winch, put them here just to keep them handy as you're operating this. And then once you find yourself at whatever it is you need to be, you can just disconnect it from here and do whatever it is you need. So say you're on top of a silo that has the fluid hose anchor, you can then find yourself there and just uh, take that out or take it off the connector, plug it into whatever it is you need and it'll go into your tank on your truck. So that's a fairly useful system. You can, obviously, if you fall out of your bucket, you can make your way back to it kind of on this path with a little better dexterity. And otherwise, that seems to be it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the creation. And that's, yeah, that's all I could think of. But it, it has these two main features, the winch and the bucket and the hydrovac system. So thank you for watching and make sure to follow and I will be releasing more content very soon.